Hi Fiji folks and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Guys, before we get started in this very special video, do me a favor, obliterate the subscription button, gently boop, caress the notification bell, and when we're done, of course, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Two new products, two new fantastic products on the website. So uh, today we're going to talk about size. Does size matter? The old age question. I won this really fancy nature's aquaponic planter and fish habitat at A&E. Purposely tried to win it to make a video. This fantastic thing is a half gallon cylindrical bowl with a planter and ceramic planting media which supports root growth. It's 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters or about eight inches by six inches. So the plan today is to set this bad boy up, put a betta in there, maybe some pothos growing out of the top, and uh, see what happens. Instructions right on the top. Okay. So let's take a look, see what we have. First, the lid with some media. Oh! The ginormous half gallon. It's like a cup. I drink water out of a cup this size. Of course, I won't be drinking this water because it's going to be poop filled water. Let's read said instructions. This is a Penplax product, product, by the way, if you'd like to go buy it. Lift planter up to feed fish. Weekly partial water changes are recommended. Please scan QR code to learn more about BetaCare. And then it's in French and Spanish as well. I happen to have my fancy iPhone here with a QR reader. I would like to learn about BetaFish. Boop, QR reader. Open penplax.com. Okay. Penplax, penplax.com, enter. See if it takes me right to the Medicare section or it's just like, hey, search our website. Nope, it's just like, hey, search our website. Penplax, quality pet products. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time. Hey, uh, Penplax, this should have gone right to the section that you wanted me to go to. And instead, bye bye All right, let's do this. Let's see what we got. Some rocks. <coughs> Seriously, this is it? Put that in there, put the plant, the bed up, put the plant. Oh. All right, well, I'm taking this bed over here. So, uh, you know, let's we'll fill it up with my little water spigot here. Added this bad boy a couple weeks ago before I went to Japan. About the right temperature. Chip a little water on the floor. Getting a little communique from my phone. I'm gonna put the phone away. Alright, well. Grab a net. Grab the betta. Oh. Grab the betta. And plop the betta in. Mike, you have to acclimatize. Nine hours, drip acclimation. <laughs> no. All right. I, I don't really know what the point of this is. Oh, maybe the water's supposed to go higher. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm quite afraid this looks like a piece of crap, but what are you gonna do? All right, I put some more water in it. So now the water is filled up to the top. We're gonna get some pothos. Of course, I thought I had some right here. I, I, I have some over here, I have some over there. All right, well. Let's see what happens. Cut some from Chewy's tank. Let's 
Ta-da! I mean, the bed looks cool in the cylindrical tank, but really, half a gallon? Size? Maybe? Will matter. We'll see. I'm curious to see about water uh, quality. Now, I'm like a fish god, so um, I probably can keep this bed alive forever, but for you newbies, so I, I don't think I'm gonna use the fish rocks because I think they're just gonna be a disaster. But I guess, I guess if you had a plant that couldn't be submerged, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, let's take a, let's take a reading. I have these Aquavital test strips from Aquarium Monster. Um, I got these at Keystone Clash from my buddy Martin over at supercichlids.com. Here it comes. Check out supercichlids.com for all your fancy fish food needs. They sell Monster Aquarium Dr. Uh, Basilier's Biofish Food, which I'm trying. Of course, Northfin, um, New Life Spectrum, Cobalt, and uh, they have some other stuff too, but this is their uh, new brand, Aquarium Monster. I met the owner of the company, a uh, really tall German guy. I wish I knew his name. Mark. I think his name is Mark. Spoke better English than I do. I, I'm just saying. We know I'm not the brightest guy in the world, but anyway. This is, uh, Martin gave me this to try back in, uh, at the Keystone Clash, and it's, it's a little more complicated than, uh, most of these strips, but we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna check the sample of, uh, this tank right now, and then we're gonna check it maybe in a week or two and see what happens. So, uh, I think the directions are basically dip it and check it, but let's double check. I don't have a book anymore, so it doesn't really say. So, oh, one second. Wait 60 seconds and check it. Okay, one Mississippi. Let's set a timer, 60 seconds. You ready? Here we go. The timer is being set as we speak. Stand by for the timer. Stand by for the timer. And boom, timer's going. Let's talk for a minute, folks. We know this is a goof, right? If you're gonna keep a better, you probably should keep it in something bigger than a half gallon tank. Unless you're a fish god like me. No, I'm just kidding. So here's why a half gallon tank is not practical. It's gonna take a lot of maintenance, water changes, diligently cleaning the tank to keep water quality good enough that's not gonna damage the fish, the fins, the fish, whatever it might be. Now. I know that this guy, I'm gonna feed him one or two better bites a day, if that, and I could catch him, put him in like a Tupperware container, pour the water up, put all new water in, boom, be done. That's a water change. Um, I also know that, you know, most fish are, are a little more hardy than we give them credit for, and they don't really need to acclimate, drip acclimation for nine hours for a half gallon water change, right? So. All right, the minute's up. Let's check the water parameters. Stand by. So the first one is nitrate. And it appears, well, it would appear there's 10 parts per million nitrate. Okay. And then nitro, no. Yeah, nitrate, zero. And then total hardness. Hard to tell because it's like, they're all purple. Um, greater than seven degrees I'm gonna go with, right? Yeah, all right. GH, oof. I don't know how to read this. I'm just telling you that right now. I don't have the book, I don't know what happened. All right, uh, carbonate hardness. Looks like three degrees. PH, it's low, 6.4, that's low for me. I'm, I'm a little curious. And uh, chlorine, zero. It tests chlorine, which is pretty cool. Anyway, folks, we'll go back to testing the, uh, the water maybe in a week or two. My timer's still going, I'm gonna stop it. So back to uh, Betacare. 
yes, this is a goof. I got it to make a goofy video. I got you with the tag. So does size matter? You know, they're all YouTube tricks, folks. Breaking down the third wall here. Just doing it so you guys click. I'm a goofball, what can I say? So better fish care. I mean, yes, can a better live in this thing? Will he be happy? Yes, of course he will. Because he doesn't know any better. His brain is the size of the tip of the man knife. Would he like more water? I don't know, I don't speak better. There are people that believe better fish love more water. I don't really know about that, but the point of the whole video is, if you're gonna keep a betta in a small container, know that you're gonna have more maintenance to do. The less water volume you have, the harder it is to maintain proper water parameters. Now this is a betta, so they don't really swim that much. They don't like current. Obviously there's no filter, there's no heater. Oh my gosh, call the betta police. Whatever. We're gonna see what happens. Hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, send me an email. If you wanna complain about this, I don't really care. You can send me an email. I'll probably answer you in some funny, rude way and then post it on my Facebook page to make fun of you. So up to you if you wanna do that. Just being honest. Hope you guys like it. Check out michaelsfishroom.com and we'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Now, you better people that want to complain, please do. I will make another rant about you guys because you guys are insane. 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 Hi, fishy folks, and happy Friar Fire Friday to you. Guys, before I get started in this very special video, do me a favor, obliterate the notification bell. Gently, boop, caress the... Scry! Hi, fishy folks. Should probably have something to say. Hi, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Guys, before we get started in this very special video, do me a favor, obliterate the subscription uh, button if you haven't done so already. Subscription, uh. And then, of course, the box, there's nothing else in there. And instructions. Let's read said instructions. Instructions. Dead. Bye bye. <coughs>